Hi again, uh, Mr. Bullock here with B&B Test Prep. This short video is going to go over some pr uh, probability problems. Uh, so I'm going to teach you the basic facts about probability uh, and then we'll go over to the computer and work on some problems that we teach in our, our class. Okay, probability. Uh, on the SAT, you'll always have a couple probability questions on the SAT. And it's always, your at answer is always a fraction answer. I notice in some of my uh, Algebra 2 books I've been teaching out of lately, they've been changing the answers to decimal, but it's, it's not on the SAT. Your SAT answers are always a fraction answer. Whenever it says probability, you're always going to be given a fraction. And it's always, the fraction is always less than or equal to probability 1. It could be 0, it could be 1. Uh, but it's a fraction, and, and I, I haven't seen uh, the zero or the one happen in a few years at least. I, I don't even remember the last time. So an answer like two-fifths or seven-ninths or, or five-eighths, uh, five something like that. Okay, and then where you get your fraction is this. Your probability is equal to a fraction. The top number is the ones that you're looking for. And I call them your favorable outcomes, the ones you're looking for, your favorable outcomes. And the bottom number is the total. Okay, and that's how you get your probability answers. Uh, if they ask you a, a probability on, say, a geometric figure, uh, and they and you have this big geometric figure right here and they say you're throwing a dart or maybe something and what's the probability you're going to land in this little area right here and it might be a square or a triangle well the answer is going to be this is your favorable outcome right here so it would be uh, the area of this piece divided by the total area of this piece okay so it's your favorable divided by the total area um, I've seen line segments also what's the probability you're given this line segment right here and what's the probability uh, that it's going to be in this area right here and usually it's on a, a line segment that's labeled by numbers so you do the total distance that's your bottom number and then you do this distance and that'll be your top number and then let's go over to, and go over to the computer and I'll show you some uh, simple examples of how this probability works <laughs> 